about the upcoming food shortage or preparing for inflation or even worse, hyperinflation, no one wants to pay double the price for butter or even triple the price for butter or even worse, go to the store and find empty shelves and not be able to get butter. With that, you guys need to know how to make butter. It's super easy. Check this out. Welcome back everybody, high five to the subs. If you're brand new here, what we do is we offer weekly tips, whether it's up-to-date economic news that everyone should know, to how-to skills to face these upcoming difficult times, down to knowing what type of gear to have on hand. If you like the sounds of that, be sure to hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. So remember, this is a skill good to know, whether you're a prepper or somebody that's just trying to be self-reliant, you got your own cows, you know a local farmer, and you're getting fresh cream from a cow or a goat and not rely on going to the store and getting what you need or staying away from all the preservatives. First and foremost, you're gonna need some pure cream, some heavy cream with a fat content of around 40%. Most people have an upright mixer, so you'll need a mixer or a mixer like this or some way to mix. There's even ways that you can shake it in a jar if you don't have either of these. You're gonna need a mixing bowl, and before we get started, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And share this video with somebody maybe you know that likes learning this type of stuff. Also, stick around to the end of this video. I'm gonna give you a tip on how to make this last as long as possible. Okay, so we're gonna start with a pint so you guys know how much a pint makes. Another tip, you probably don't wanna fill this up more than about a third of the way. Otherwise, it could get a little messy. Okay, when you start, you wanna just start on low for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you wanna move it up to high. Okay, and depending on different factors, it'll take around three to five minutes on high. Okay, and as the cream breaks, it's gonna get a little bit splashy, so throwing a towel over the top of your mixer will be helpful. Now you don't wanna over mix it because you'll mix the buttermilk back into the butter. So you wanna pay attention at this step. Okay, so when you see the cream break like that, and you're at this stage, you don't wanna go any further, otherwise you're gonna mix that buttermilk back into the butter. With our situation, our temperatures, our temperature of our cream, it took us around five minutes of mixing to get to this stage. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract all the butter into the bowl. Oh boy, look at that, homemade butter. I'm not sure if you guys have tasted homemade butter, but it sure beats store. Now when it comes to this buttermilk, be sure to save it. You can use it for a lot of things, including pancakes, baking purposes, muffins, cakes, mashed potatoes, don't throw it away, it's usable. Okay, so say you guys wanna use this right away. Baking, whatever you're doing, you're gonna use it within a day or two. You can store this right now in the fridge and it'll last a day or two. But the buttermilk that's still in the butter makes it go bad faster. So here's some tips on how to make this butter last a lot longer, up to a year. We're gonna use room temperature water. Now you can use a spatula or you can use your hands. I like using my hands because I feel like it's more effective. You can wear gloves if you want to. Be sure your hands are clean. It's gonna take about three rinses to get all that buttermilk out of the butter completely or close to. So once you get to the about there, you're gonna to wanna to rinse this out, put some fresh water in. Look at that guys, fresh butter. Oh boy, I'm excited. And I recommend you guys doing this. Do it at least once, because once you have one time under your belt, you'll never forget this process. And you never know the day 
that you're going to go to the store, not find butter, but you know that you can go find some cream and make butter, or you know that you can go to your neighbors that has a cow or a local farmer and buy some fresh cream from a cow or a goat, and you still have the skills of making your own butter and storing it up to a year. You see all that water starting to get cleaner and cleaner? It takes about three rinses to get where you wanna be. Okay, so you can see that that buttermilk is just about all the way out of this butter. Now this is part of the tip on making sure that your butter's gonna last a lot longer. Okay, so now we're at this point. At this point, you could stick this in the fridge and it's gonna last a couple weeks. Now we can take this a step further so that it'll last us a year. That's what we wanna do, right? We want long-term food storage. Okay, so we're gonna add some salt. This can be any kind of salt, table salt. The ratio is one teaspoon to a gallon. We used a pint, so we're gonna be using one eighth teaspoon, which is about a pinch. The salt's gonna help draw out that extra liquid. Who likes butter? This is the butter that's good for you. It's still got all the vitamins, unlike a lot of the stuff you buy at the stores. Okay, we've added the salt, now it's storage. At this point, the easiest way to store this is in saran wrap. Okay, so at this point, you wrap this up just like this. After adding the salt, you're gonna be able to store this in your fridge for several weeks. Get all that air out as much as possible. Pancake it out just a little bit so it can defrost a lot faster. So now you've made a stick of butter, homemade butter that only took minutes that you can stick in the freezer for easily up to a year. So there you have it guys, yet another important skill to know how to do. If you like tips like this, I'm gonna leave a couple more video links at the end of this video of other stuff that you might've missed. And today we're gonna to make a video to show you how to make that butter last five years. So be sure to look for that video at the end of the screen as well. Again, if you guys like weekly tips, be sure to hit that notification bell. We'll see you guys on the next one.